Toyota's recreational active vehicle four-wheel drive. Never heard of it? Well, you and I know it as RAV4, and this year it's celebrating its 25th birthday. To celebrate, there's an all-new version that's arriving in Australia in April next year. Excited? Me too. Let's check it out. With over 19 million RAV4s sold to date over four generations, you might figure Toyota wouldn't mess with a proven formula for this new fifth generation. And you'd be wrong. Let's check out what's new with RAV4. Robust, chiseled, athletic. That's how its designers describe the RAV4. No kidding. It looks like it was styled with a pencil and ruler and then shaped using a giant belt sander. And up front has the most striking change where it looks like the design's been lifted by a tough pickup truck. Boxy, macho, I like it a lot. It looks bigger, but in fact, it's shorter in height and length than the old RAV4. But it does have a longer wheelbase and a wider track, plus more ground clearance for heading off the beaten path. Despite being small on the outside, the new RAV4 is actually roomier on the inside. In the back, you can fit two adults quite comfortably or three at a pinch. There's even more good news in back, where there's an extra 80 litres of boot space. RAV4's had a complete makeover on the inside. It's more contemporary and funky, but without going too overboard. There are nice textures and soft touch points as well as some neat details such as this rubberized dial. And finally, Toyota is offering CarPlay connectivity, but only overseas. No CarPlay for the Aussies. The big news is the diesel is dead, and the new RAV4 will be Toyota Australia's first hybrid SUV. Up front, there's a 2.5 litre four cylinder petrol engine, good for 132 kilowatts plus two electric motors that combined make 88 kilowatts. That drives the front wheels. The rear axle gets its own 40 kilowatt electric motor that just drives the rear wheels. It's completely independent from the front and there's no tail shaft. Total system power, 155 kilowatts. If hybrid's not your thing, there's a two liter four cylinder that makes 127 kilowatts and it can be mated with a choice of six-speed manual or CVT transmission. Want more? There's also a 2.5 litre version that makes 152 kilowatts, and that's backed by an eight-speed automatic. There'll also be a choice of all-wheel drive and two-wheel drive versions, which begs the question about the latter. Shouldn't it be called RAV2? There's more. The petrol all-wheel drive adventure version gets multi-terrain select with dedicated mud and sand, rock and dirt, and snow driving modes. So RAV4 is a little less soft-roader and a little bit more off-roader in this spec. There'll be six variants to choose from, including the hybrid when the all-new RAV4 arrives in Australia in April next year. In the meantime, stay tuned to caradvice.com for my full review of the US range from North America.